Welcome to a special update on Coronavirus and Fold It. Today is Wednesday, March 11th. We want to take a quick look at some early designs from Fold It players against the coronavirus spike protein. We are also going to take a look into the lab here at the Institute for Protein Design so we can see the kinds of experiments that we'll do to test these proteins. But first, I want you to meet someone. Hi, I'm Lexi. I just recently graduated from the University of Washington and for the past five years I've been studying coronavirus proteins. In the last month or so, I've continued to study coronaviruses, specifically COVID-19 here at the UW. So Lexi, would you help me take a look at some of these folded player designs? Yeah, absolutely. That'd be fun. So in this puzzle, folded players are presented with this receptor binding domain from the coronavirus spike protein, and their task is to try to design a protein that could bind to it. So did you study this receptor binding domain of the spike protein? Yeah, we just actually published results. Um, we use something called cryoelectron microscopy, um, which is basically a way that we can visualize the structure of the spike protein at high resolution. So like in Foldit, how you can see the individual residues, that's kind of the goal of cryoEM. So Lexi, here we have the, uh, the top scoring Foldit solution yep. from the first coronavirus puzzle. So what do you think about this version design? Yeah, so Ideally, we would want to block this region up here, and the reason for that is this region is actually where coronavirus spike interacts with the host cell. They kind of make what I like to call a handshake, where there's a binding interaction between this target protein on the spike and with the host cell. So while the design is interesting, it's not really in the target region. Okay. So this is a great example of something I wanted to highlight uh, from the first puzzle. This looks like a solid protein design. Uh, there's a good chance this would fold up uh, in the lab correctly, but it is not binding the site that we want to target on the spike protein. Um, so we'll be addressing this in future puzzles. So here we have um, one of the next highest scoring solutions from folded players. Lexi, what do you think of this one? This one's nicely binding in the receptor binding domain pocket, which is really, could be really interesting. It's also large enough that, you know, to block that handshake, it's not just about binding to those specific residues, but also kind of just taking up space to prevent that from happening. So I think this one actually looks really, really nice. Could be useful. Excellent. So uh, from a protein design standpoint, um, one of the issues that I would have with this protein is we have a buried polar atom right here in the middle that can't make any hydrogen bonds. This is energetically unfavorable. This might prevent this protein from actually sitting down on the binding site if it buries this amino acid away from water and does not make a hydrogen bond with this polar atom here. We do see other very nice hydrogen bonds with polar atoms. This uh, hydrogen bond network right here um, between two residues in the design protein and this tyrosine on the target. Um, this is very nice, but we do wanna be very careful about burying any polar atoms at the interface between the design and the target. All right, so, uh, so Lexi, here is a third design uh, from Folded Players on this initial coronavirus puzzle. Some things I like about this protein is it does make lots of nice hydrophobic contacts between yeah. orange residues on both the binder side and the target side, especially this one big bulky phe, uh, phenylalanine up here in the corner, um, which is really exposed on the target, we think could be a nice little uh, handhold for, um, for the binder to latch onto. And here we see some very nice burial of this residue. I think similar to the last one, it's binding in the region that we're interested in, it's blocking the receptor binding interaction, that handshake, um, and again, it's taking up space. Yeah, this looks like a really viable solution. Well, thank you, Lexi, for joining us and, and having a look at some folded player designs. We may have you back soon to look at more. Cool. Yeah, that'd be exciting. Thanks for having me. So right now we are running some more detailed analysis on solutions like the ones that we just looked at. The next step will be to take promising folded designs and test them in the lab. So let's head over to the lab and see what that looks like. So we haven't started testing any folded player designs for coronavirus just yet, but these are the steps that we normally take to test proteins. We start with DNA. We use synthetic DNA that contains the instructions for the protein that we've designed. This DNA has to be synthetic because it encodes a new protein that's never existed in nature before, so we can't use existing DNA. So next, we stick these DNA instructions into a cell. We use a lab-safe version of E. coli 
which is very good at producing massive amounts of protein. We can also make proteins using yeast or even mammalian cells. These tiny cells now contain our instructions for the protein, and they can make a little bit, but if we want to make a lot of protein, then we have to grow up a lot of bacteria. And for that, we use a liquid culture of bacteria. This solution contains sugar and other nutrients that the bacteria need to grow. We can grow liters of bacterial culture overnight to produce milligrams of protein. Once we have a healthy bacterial culture with lots of bacterial cells in it, it's time to extract the protein. We need to purify it from all the other proteins in the bacteria. We isolate the protein that's been designed by folded players so that we can be sure we're studying properties of only this designed protein. So this is what an isolated and purified protein looks like, mostly colorless liquid, but this little test tube contains millions and millions of copies of identical proteins, which we can then run tests on. So when we test these proteins, we'll be looking to see if the folded player designs can bind to the coronavirus spike protein. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Stay tuned for more updates.